Hey, what's going on guys? Komaki Kians here. In this video we're gonna be comparing up to four mode generators involving different techniques of actually generating the modes. So, the very first candidate is Wukun Chess Engine that I've been covering on this chess programming channel within the Hexadecimal 88 mode generator series and right, right over in here Actually, everything that regards the mood generator is available in this list, and here we have also some a, a couple of uh, playlists to to make it actually play chess. Not not really strong, but for about uh, 1500 elo points. But it's not. But that's not the case, obviously. So another uh, another. Oh, sorry. Uh, the second candidate is uh, a very well known legendary Weiss chess engine uh, written by. Richard Albert, also known as Blue Fever Software. So, uh, for those of you who has been watching that legendary series called Chess Engine in C, Programming Chess Engine in C by Blue Fever, uh, here we have the mood generator from from the Weiss engine. And this one called Egg IQ Chess Bitboard is a mood generator that. Uh, so uh, h how I made it basically. So I did fork. Uh, uh, well, not really did fork Weiss's mood genera generator. I was actually uh, writing everything from scratch. But uh, it's it's almost like a clone of uh, Weiss mood generator. The only difference is that it uses magic bit boards to initialize precalculated attack tables for sliding pieces, and obviously it has precalculated uh, attacks for leaper pieces as well. So. It's some sort of, sort of a hybrid solution between uh, bitboards and array-based chess engines. So another another candidate to consider. So everything that regards to generating moves like uh, 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 attack lookups, it, it all relies on bitboards. But when it comes to uh, the make move function, uh, it's not uh, it's it's not implemented as uh, as bitboards. So I'm not really manipulating bitboards. I'm just uh, keeping track of. Uh, the mailbox array just just like in Wise, and I'm just uh, updating the occupancies regarding the bitboards and that's kind of it and this one the very third uh, sorry the, the fourth and the last engine called BBC which stands for bitboard chess is the exact chess engine uh, I'm now covering within this new bitboard chess engine in C series so uh, we've start we've stopped this series at the point uh, at uh, right in the is square attack function and also we've already implemented uh, we, uh, also we, uh, we also implemented uh, pre-calculated uh, piece attack tables for both uh, leaper and slider pieces and for slider pieces uh, again it uses the magic bit boards and this mode generator this very last one uh, shows to be the fastest among uh, all the others and also, it's uh, purely relies on bitboards, so it doesn't keep track of uh, mailbox uh, like array. So everything, uh, all the operations within the make move functions are done uh, are, are the pure bitboard manipulation. So this this one is the fastest. Now regarding the optimization flags, so this this and this one uses minus the only minus o fast optimization flag, while Wise uses its own optimization flags uh, available in its make file, like published by Bluefever software. One last thing to consider before we start the actual test is that, uh, assuming that we have uh, this web camera view and, uh, the video and the desktop recording software, it would be going for about one to seconds slower compared to how it goes uh, if, uh, if the mood generator is the only process on my laptop. But still, uh, the results are pretty comparable, even uh, even with this, uh, even assuming these circumstances. So, for those of you who who is not interested in watching videos and want just the pure results, I would also post uh, the results of this test on Top Chess Forum and in the description below this video. So, uh, from now on, without further ado, let's actually go for some tests. So, the very first one, Wukun Chess Engine. It, it involves hexadecimal 88 board representation, it just uh, compiles with the optimizations, it takes a little bit of a time. And uh, it doesn't have piece lists, it just uh, it, it traverses the entire board every time uh, it, it, it wants to generate moves. It doesn't have a take back function, instead it, go, it goes for copy make, so called copy make approach, so just preserving the current board state and then restoring it back uh, in order to 
mimic that take taking piece back and restoring all the available board state parameters and we have uh, up to 22 seconds the second one is leg is legendary wise by uh, Richard Olbert also known as Blue Fever software so you see like optimizations are a little bit different uh, okay uh, and it goes already a bit faster the reason for that is because it uh, involves so-called piece list so instead of looping over the entire bo uh, board array uh, it already uh, it, it incrementally updates uh, the list of pieces uh, which means that we already know uh, what kind of square uh, refers to every particular piece on a chessboard so this one goes uh, quite pretty faster compared to this one so piece lists really do the trick and also it has a take back function instead of copy make approach uh, and some other tiny little tricks to, 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 to be faster okay and now the hybrid of mm, uh, I call this one like uh, Blue Fever Software's Wise on uh, Magic Bitboard steroids. So this one actually uh, uses uh, the mode generator, which is almost just like the uh, the Vice's mode generator is, but it already uh, uses this pre-calculated pre -calculated attack tables for slider and leaper pieces and also ma makes use of the magic bitboard technique so this is already kind of twice faster compared to the original version of Weiss and really faster compared to this uh, Wukun and finally we go for the current chess engine uh, we're now covering uh, on YouTube within this chess programming channel called BBC which stands for Bitboard chess, quite pretty simple, and the pure bitboard Im implementation is human magic bitboards to calculate, uh, to initialize pre calculated attacks for sliding pieces, and this one is actually the fastest one. So we have for about uh, a second faster, almost a second faster com compared to to this uh, hybrid and uh, without uh, uh, without this web camera view and uh, desktop recording software. It sometimes goes even to two seconds faster compared to com compared to this one. So here are the results, guys. Uh, I believe they talk uh, on their own. Just to give you an idea, that obviously the number of nodes traversed is the same in all the four cases here. So uh, one of the reasons why I'm making this video, by the way, is I was really concerned during recording this series because uh, I'm kind of I'm not uh, using already pre-coded chess engine in order to create this series. I'm just uh, making a couple functions and then just implementing a couple of functions and then just covering them within the video and then again making another couple of functions and then again uh, just recording a, a video covering those uh, how to implement those functions actually. So I was really a bit concerned whether uh, everything that we have built so far would it be bug free and if whether it, it would actually work or not and now after this results I can claim for sure that we actually <laughs> will succeed uh, with our perf test so we'll create the move generator and uh, create the make move function by the way uh, this engine also uses so called copy make approach so it doesn't take the move back just preserves the board state all the bit boards all the occupancies up to three for white black pieces and for both and uh, three board states like uh, side to move and peasant square and castle and rights that's it and i must say that uh, the move generator implementation of this uh, bbc chess engine is not really optimized totally so I think that uh, those of you who want to be interested to play around with Mood Generator speed optimi optimizations uh, would be able to make it at least 10% uh, faster. I believe even 20% faster is also uh, is also possible. Basically, uh, obviously, it, it takes some work to do. But uh, for me personally, uh, as I've been already mentioning numerous times, it's incredibly important to make. Uh, to make uh, everything uh, as didactic as possible so trying to uh, provide uh, tr trying to make the source code really readable with lots of commentary so I will now just uh, give you an idea of how the source code for this 
uh, no, not th th this is the version I'm uh, I'm developing uh, in front of the series, and here is the source code that is all is, is has already been covered within the series I've been mentioning. So we just have a look. Uh, is square attacked? Yeah, this one. So this is the final version of the source code. This this is the only file, by the way. Uh, you see, like really lots of commentaries. Uh, I'm trying to explain everything, even even if that's kind of self-explanatory. So literally trying to make everything as clear as possible. And I'm sacrificing the perfor the performance from time to time. Uh, for the didactic purposes so i would rather make a clean understandable code rather than obfuscated code and w which actually works faster so that's because if you would ever be covering some chess engine development process on youtube you will probably understand why am i doing that because th there are really lots of chess engines like without those commentaries and without those clear patterns they use and it really takes time to dive in there in order to understand like what exactly uh, is going on there basically so that's kind of it and this is the entire source code uh, already so uh, we'll, we'll then create the move generator the move the make move functions a couple of helper functions and go for a perf test so uh, this is it basically well probably the very last thing to mention just to answer some commentaries that uh, i'm already starting getting on youtube regarding this series guys please use gcc compiler if you're on linux use gcc it's pre-installed no problem there if you're on windows please make sure to install min gw gcc compiler you can install it uh, directly using the source the source forge link you can uh, install it along with the code blocks ID. And those of you who is trying to compile this code within the Visual Studio, say 19 or whatever Visual Studio using the native Microsoft compiler on Windows, it won't be working. It has never been claimed uh, working with native uh, uh, Microsoft compiler. And let me just uh, say a few words uh, regarding why this is so. So the first reason that uh, I'm a Linux enthusiast and I really hate Windows and all the Microsoft related software. software believe me, I have some uh, uh, real reasons for that because I've been working, uh, I've been programming for, for, for Windows. Uh, I'm a bit familiar with Windows API. I don't, I, I don't really like it personally, like how it works, the patterns, the principles and so on. The other, uh, so that's the reason why I will never install Windows on my computer and, uh, and hence I, I won't be able to make use of uh, debugging this with the, uh, with the Microsoft compiler. Obviously, I could have tried to install Microsoft compiler using Wine on Linux, but that's a little bit too much. Another reason that uh, the GCC compiler uh, uh, supports the so-called C99 standards. So that's uh, the, the newer version of C programming language, while Microsoft compiler uses the older versions of, uh, of uh, C programming language. And you can do some nice cool tricks with that old version so my code would only compile for the c99 uh, standards that's quite a pretty important thing to bear in mind another another thing that uh, uh, regards the IDE so uh, I never use IDEs you see like I'm always developing if you've been watching a couple of tutorials regarding chess program you probably you've probably noticed that I'm always using uh, the standard Linux text editor called X XAD and just compiling the source code directly within the within the console basically. So I'm writing the make file to invoke the uh, GCC compiler to make uh, to make uh, uh, to, to build the sources and then just running this by terminal. And that's kind of it. I'm not using uh, IDs. I don't like that. And uh, also, uh, to make sure that the source code I'm writing would actually be 100% compiled on Windows, so it would be Windows compatible, I'm running, uh, I'm running, uh, just let me show you the make file, uh, I'm running this uh, GCC cross compiler on Linux, so I'm producing the uh, Windows native executable every time uh, during the, the during the tutorials and this binary Windows binary executables produced along uh, produced during these tutorials are available in every single folder you you can find here so it's always available here so you can always make sure that it uh, that it can uh, run on Windows actually 
So in case if you will use uh, in case if you will use the min GW GCC compiler, uh, that would uh, ensure 100 percent ensure that you will actually you would actually be able to compile the source on your Windows system. So that's kind of it. And from my side, the only thing that I can track uh, this Windows com 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 compatibility. I'm sorry, guys, is uh, why I keep in track of some possible errors from this cross compiler and. Uh, Probably one last thing regarding some uh, operating system kind of details. So if we have a look at the print board function, print board. Then here uh, I have different versions. So I'm pr I'm printing ASCII pieces as uh, uh, ASCII characters to represent chess pieces on board for Windows, and I'm using the Unicode pieces on Linux. And I know like uh, many uh, chess programming gurus criticizing this approach, but I really like. Uh, how it looks like when when we have when we have this uh, so you just compare it on your own so this ASCII characters versus Unicode characters I think this are much more cute compared to this one so that's that's kind of my my way of doing things basically so that's another little detail regarding the difference between the uh, versions running on uh, Windows versus Linux well, okay, guys. So this is it from my side. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I really, I uh, really appreciate, uh, and I'm really grateful to all those of you guys who has actually started following this new Bitboard Chess Engine in C series. And I uh, just want to, I just want to ensure you again that today's uh, today's good mood of Koma Kikin after pers uh, after passing the perf test. Make sure that this series is about to come, and uh, we, we we are just starting, basically. So uh, I would like to end this talk at this particular point. So uh, I'm waiting for your commentaries below this video. Would really appreciate to read to read some. And again, like for those who don't want to watch the videos, I will provide some uh, text-based results of this perf tests. Uh, both below this video, uh, in the description, and on TalkChess forum as well. And I would also pass, uh, paste a link to the TalkChess forum thread for those of you who has come from YouTube but want to read some uh, possible replies from TalkChess member, uh, community members as well. Okay, guys, so uh, I'd like again like to thank all of you. See you in the Bitboard Chess Engine in C series starting from tomorrow, hopefully. So. This is it from my side, until the next time and take care.